Hi there, this is Lynn Allen and I'm coming to you from Brazil. <laughs> yes, Brazil, I'm here at AU Brazil this week. Busy time, but not too busy to make sure that I find some time to share a tip with all of you out there. So the AutoCAD tip this week is going to really come in handy. Once again, if you're working on an older drawing, you don't quite remember all the settings, you just need to add a few features, or maybe you're working on somebody else's drawing. But I love this tool. I actually use this tool pretty frequently. This tool came out in AutoCAD 2011, and it's called Add Selected. All right, let me show you how it works. It's easy, super easy. So I want to add in another object, just like this guy here. It looks like it could be a line, could be a polyline. I don't, I don't know the line type. I don't know the layer, and I'm too lazy to find all that out. I just want to add one more. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select this object. I'm going to do a right click, it says it's a polyline, and I'm going to say Add Selected and it put me into the polyline command. It made sure that I'm on the correct layer. It actually switched my layer temporarily and it's going to make it easy for me to create another object just like that one with the exact same properties. Same dash line type, same layer, same color if there was one assigned to it. Easy, easy, easy. Alright, let's try it with dimensions. I need to add another dimension. I don't know what the dimension variables were set to. I don't know what the dim style is. No problem. I'm going to go ahead and select an existing one that's right. Do a right click and once again, add selected. Easy, easy. Makes it very easy for me to add in yet one more dimension with the same properties as the one that I have on there. I didn't have to find anything out. Perfect. Easy, easy, easy. And you'll notice that each time when it's finished with a command, it puts my current layer back to whatever it happened to be before. Fabulous. All right, let's see. Let's go to a different drawing. This is the drawing that I use all the time. <laughs> You guys are probably tired of this joint, but it comes in handy. It's got a little bit of everything in it. All right, I need to add some more hatching. It needs to look just like that. I don't know what layer it is. I don't know what the scale factor is and so on and so forth. No problem. I'm going to select it. Do a right click and say add selected. Easy. I want some in there. I want some hatching in there and some hatching in there. I'm not sure I would put them in all those places, but then hit a final enter and you'll see how easy it was to duplicate that hatch pattern with Add Selected. All right, right click, Add Selected, give it a try. It's going to save you lots and lots of time. All right, so thank you for joining me, and I am going to see you back here in two more weeks. But I won't be in Brazil. <laughs> Take care.